Okay, I'm going to be showing you a few enhancements in this video, starting with the tab that used to be called Scan Edit. We have renamed it to Aug Edit, mostly because a lot of people saw it as Scan Edit and they said, well, I'm not doing any scanning, so there's nothing for me to look at on that ribbon. And there really is uh, lots of a lot of great commands in here. So we renamed it to Augmented Edit, uh, Aug Edit. And what is an augmented line? Well, it could be this plane measurement that I have on top, a two by three grid. It could be this group of surface points that I have down here. It's just a bunch of hits that are joined together. And that's what we call an augmented line. So we decided to rename this to Aug Edit. Now this, you can see on the Aug Edit tab now, we have a lot of commands in here. Um, we're just going to review the, the newest ones, starting with UV Edit. Um, so if you go in to make a, um, a UV grid, let's say on here, in my defaults were set to 2x3, uh, you might have made it from the auto mesh down at the bottom here. You might have made it from uh, QIF or uh, auto MBD or something like that. Regardless of how it was made, you can go and instead of, if you don't like it, um, you, what would you do? Well, you'd have to delete it, go to your default settings, change your defaults, come back here and measure it again. Well, now all we have to do is say UV edit and pick the measurement anywhere. And then I'm going to hit enter and then it's going to prompt me for the grid that I want. It's got a default up here of 5x5, five five, probably the last one I used. So I'm just going to take that and we'll say OK. And you can see it changes that measurement into a 5x5 five five grid. Real simple, but very effective. OK, the next command is add intersection point. I'm going to look at this group of surface measurements on the side here. You can see uh, I've got kind of two points going on an angle on each side of it. And then it flattens out in the middle. So what I want to do is I want to add an intersection point to this measurement. So you can see basically where these two outside connector lines, if they were to intersect, it would be somewhere out where my mouse is right about here, I'm going to guess. So let's find out. So I'm going to say add intersection point, and I'm just going to pick the yellow connector where I want to put the intersection point, and there it is. It adds it up there. Uh, in the same way, the next command is add an arc midpoint. Instead of kind of doing calculating uh, where these two lines would intersect, it's going to create like an arc. So let me just uh, undo that. Okay, and let's do a arc midpoint. And I'll pick the same connector. Okay, and it looks like it's going straight across, but it's not. You can actually see... If we go in from the side, it's on a very slight arc. Okay, next, let's look at these group of measurements. Uh, these are all just a bunch of surface points I've got here on the end of the part. And I'm just going to continue on here, and I'm going to do this one here, which is close the measurement. So if I click on that, and I'm just going to click anywhere on this measurement, what it does is it adds a final point, an extra point, to the very end, which is identical to the very first point. So it kind of closes the uh, the loop. Uh, let me. I'm just going to undo that. Let's show you the next one, which is keeping the middle point. I'm just going to zoom up a little bit here, and what it does is, if we go click on it, you select a range. Uh, of points. So I'm going to say from this point to this point over here. And what it's going to do, it's going to delete all the points in between except for the middle point. So we'll just say OK, and you can see it keeps the middle point and all the other ones are gone. Which is very similar to the next new one, which is delete a range of points. It's very similar, except for the fact that it doesn't keep anything behind. So I pick my first two points, start point, end point, and it deletes everything um, in between. So that's the range. And let's see, the last one I want to show you is reordering. I've got a uh, 
measurement on the bottom of the part. There we go. Huh, somehow I got this zigzag thing going on here. And if you think about that, if I'm running that on a CMM, that's going to be pretty time consuming to run that going back and forth and all this these go-tos going across the part. So what we're going to do is we can actually reorder them. And if I click on reorder and just pick anywhere, okay, it's going to put the distance between the measurements at the most minimum amount. So it's going to reorder the measurements on that. And as you can see, instead of going back and forth, right and left, it's just going to go down one across and back up the other side. So that's reordering. Thanks for watching and have a great day.